Okay, so, um, I wanted to make this a video because it's sort of the easiest way for me, I guess, to get my thoughts out, uh, regarding this, um, but I guess I'll just go right out and say I'm no longer going to be a part of the Elite Battle League, um, I will still be doing the design work for it, we're going to have a different deal now with that, um, I am not really going to be directly involved with the EBL at all anymore, um, in no way, shape, or form, again, aside from the design work, but that's more of a, to me, it's kind of more of a client to, you know, um, artist to client sort of situation going on, but yeah, we're not going to be part of the EBL anymore, um, I wanted to make, the, uh, make it a video because it's just easier for me to say it. I, I, I don't know, typing it up, I feel like it'd be a lot more difficult to convey some of the things that I was feeling, why I left, all that good stuff, and bad stuff. <laughs> um, I hope this doesn't make it seem like I'm trying to make mine leaving more important than anyone else's. I'm not. It's just this is the easiest way I felt trying to get uh, all that stuff out there without having to answer a bunch of, qu bunch of questions. Um, but yeah, anyways, I don't want to make trying to make that, I'm gonna try not to make this video too long. Maybe I should have written out a script or something, um, to make it a little more structured, but we're just gonna kind of go with the flow, anyways. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start with the negatives <laughs> that led to my departure, uh, so that way we can end the video on the positives and a much lighter note. So, um, negatives, those of you might not know, I, uh, I was part of the sort of council within the EBL, so we um ran it. We, you know, controlled the rules, all that good stuff. Um, just made sure the league ran smoothly. Any problems that came up, we dealt with them. Every single problem that came up, we dealt with every single one. Um, it actually, it, it just got to a point where Pidge actually described it best. Like, it wasn't so much stressful anymore. It was just tedious, constant, just a constant thing where there was always something. There's just always something. Hell, right now we're dealing with crap. Uh, it's just always something. You know, it's always just, it's always something it was just got tedious it got old it was annoying and frustrating i think above everything else it was just frustrating it's like guys come on <laughs> sometimes it's just like simple problems that didn't really need to become problems and then there's just things where it, even if they if, even if it wasn't a problem necessarily it was just it's just something we had to talk about we had to deal with um it was just it was just constant that's pretty much the one of the main things with being a being having that role it just it was just like a constant thing it was always something um again not necessarily everything was negative necessarily but it was just always something you know um and it just it just it did not help <laughs> at all i mean i've always been kind of involved with the behind the scenes practically since the ebl started uh matt and i would have calls here and there or chat here and there and talk about you know ideas and plans for the future and stuff um so i've kind of always been behind the scenes when it comes to the ebl since the beginning pretty much um i mean the ebl channel was my idea <laughs> like i there's so many things that i helped uh try to help contribute to this this league and and i'm i don't take any of that back i'm not saying i regret that stuff but uh it obviously led to me just being kind of over it uh and quite frankly sort of like the second point here i guess is that it just wasn't fun anymore um i didn't find competing fun i just found myself forcing i just forced myself a lot of the time and then even the roundups that were fun for me leading into like season five just steadily became not so fun and i totally lied to you guys when i said i didn't have time to do the roundups because i totally had time i just didn't want to it just was not fun to me anymore i got tired of watching matches i got tired of doing all this extra stuff um i just got over it it just, it just was not nothing was fun for me anymore none of it if anything honestly i kind of started to grow a bit of animosity towards the league because i just i just thought of the EBL. oh my god <laughs> it's just like i don't i don't care anymore um and yeah that that the the fun factor just wasn't there anymore. If it was still fun, I wouldn't be leaving. <laughs> Honestly, if it was still fun, like the annoyance and frustrations, if it was matched with like the same amount of fun, I wouldn't be leaving um, because there'd at least be a balance, but it's just like, it's annoyance and frustration. And then there's the funds like down below the floor. <laughs> like I just don't have fun with it anymore at all. Um, I was forcing myself to do, uh, to battle and forcing myself to do the content, forcing myself to do this and that. And I just didn't want to anymore. So. Uh, I kind of got over it. Um, and then there's a <laughs> cherry on top of the whole thing. Uh, not the reason why I left, but it, it, again, cherry on top. It was just like, all right, I think I'm done. I think this has gotten too serious, which I think was the main thing with the league. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, it's gotten way too serious. 
Um, people taking it way too serious. People are getting way too competitive. And that's going to happen with the competitive league. I just think people are forgetting the fun side of it. You know, um, it's just way too competitive. And uh, the basically, I, I mean, I, I, Carlos and I got accused of cheating pretty much. I'm just going to come right out and say it. Uh, obviously not true. We did not cheat. I could tell you guarantee that to you uh i'm not gonna say who accused us or what it's just no point full transparency uh i have recorded this video twice and in those two other times i spent way too much time talking about this and honestly maybe i'll explain it to you guys in a future date maybe i'll explain all the person's points and why they weren't true and this and that right now i'm just this is not really the point of this video um that person also never even really talked, never, not even really, never talked to myself or Carlos about the whole situation. We never even really got a chance to defend ourselves, um, which I don't think it would have mattered. I feel like that person probably was dead set in what they believed to be true. Um, but I mean, to that person as well, it's way too late now. It's been like three months. It's been, let's say, it's July. It's been about three months since, since we got accused. Um, like, there's no point in trying to rectify that whole situation. It was serious to me because... 99% of the issues in EBL are Pokemon related, video game related. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not really going to get upset. But the problem was, is, is A, you're questioning my integrity as a person. And you're also questioning my family's integrity. You're bringing my family into this as well. And that's a major problem for me. Family means a hell of a lot to me. Um, so to question my integrity and also bring my family into it, that's a no-no for me. That that makes it serious. That's no longer a Pokemon issue. That is a personal issue. <laughs> that is no longer a Pokemon issue at that point. Um, so yes, it was a very important, uh, serious thing for me. Um, and I did get very upset when the first came out because it's like, really? <laughs> really? The problem is, is the league has kind of run it, ran on in like a sort of integrity based system. We've always just kind of trusted each other that we were all battling. We were all doing our own thing. We weren't cheating. We weren't doing this. We weren't doing that. You know, uh, we've always kind of ran on an integrity based system. And whenever there was a problem, we called it out and made rules for it. Um, I am guilty of that as well. I fully will admit that. Um, there's a rule there because of me. <laughs> um, but that's that's just what I knew. Things are just getting too serious with this league. I'm not dealing with this extra crap. I can't be bothered. My presence is also clearly causing problems. So I just that that was again not the reason why I left. Just cherry on top was just like you know what whatever again no, and even we had an interaction after that too and, and not pretending like everything was okay <laughs> and it's not again it's not as simple as a pokemon issue because you're questioning me as a person you're questioning my family member as a person and i don't i i don't fly with that <laughs> and again we never even got a chance to defend ourselves so it is what it is uh again i don't want to spend too long on it again i might explain it sometime in the future but honestly at this point i'm kind of whatever just um, over it <laughs> i'm over being mad over it. i'm over being frustrated over it i'm just fine with moving on whatever um and then it, it's just i i try to push past that and i really should have left as soon as the last season ended i really should have but i pushed past that went through the little cup and i'm not really mad at the people who you know ca caused a couple problems within the little cup but that tournament was supposed to be a simple easy breezy fun just chill tournament and still we had problems that we had to deal with um and that pretty much solidified it for me like i can't do this anymore i can't keep forcing myself to keep going i can't pretend i know i had said i was gonna keep going to the end of this next season but i just couldn't <laughs> i just could not anymore i i really couldn't i couldn't force myself anymore and that's something i just i mean i had been thinking about it since uh the end of like season four i'd been thinking about it um it's just now it's like yeah i'm done <laughs> i'm done there's certain things that definitely need to change for me to come back um i won't say i'll never come back um, but there are definitely things that have to change, uh, for me to come back. Um, so, and they're pretty unlikely. So uh, I don't want to say again, I don't want to say it's forever, but very, very, very unlikely. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of the more negative. So just frustration, uh, annoyance and just lack of fun is really the main negative points there. Also. Yeah. We got accused of cheating, which is great. Um, <laughs> Uh, but let's uh, let's focus a little more on the positives here because they're definitely uh, the positives. Although my list might not be super long, these positives definitely were 
you know, up there for me. I mean, as some of the highlights in my life in general, just especially with YouTube, but just sort of overall in my life, meeting some uh, above everything else, meeting some incredible people, man, incredible people. I guess I should thank Matt, uh, Matty Ice of the Stone Fam uh, for bringing me into the league. I guess Derek was the one to kind of invite me, but Matt allowed it <laughs> um, to both of them. They, they, they're the ones that brought me into the league. And then Matt allowed me to sort of voice my opinion on where the league should go or some future ideas and things like that he allowed me to have a have a say basically so thank you matt for that and then obviously to everyone else i met through the ebl or maybe i kind of knew you before the ebl but because of the ebl like we grew closer and all that good stuff um you know you got uh, should i list people i feel like i'm gonna forget people i already said matt's name matt derek you got jack you got humberto i think was one of the main people i met through the ebl um landon of course you got luigi you got smoosh you got, you got multiple people that i met there at the ebl and although we, we may not talk a whole lot now i i still cherish those friendships uh i still consider those people my friend i don't know if they feel the same <laughs> um but you know i still cherish those friendships and the moments that we had and being able to talk and get to know each other more because of the ebl and all that good stuff so meeting new people definitely top of my list the new the people i met through the ebl was uh, nothing short of uh Nothing short of incredible because we have um do you have like some of the newcomers like like alan and jakey who kind of came in later um who i've been talking to more and kind of getting to know a little bit more and all that good stuff you know it's just the people above everything else is is the main 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 point um what would be next winning <laughs> being a champion uh there's there actually is a point i have to that because I don't have my trophy on my desk right now, um, but it, it feels really good because Pidge and Humberto are two people I, I respect the hell out of. <laughs> I respect those two people I, as people, like I, just beyond YouTube, get rid of all that. As people, I respect the hell out of both of them. So for my name, I know it's simple, it's stupid, it's a Pokemon tournament, but for my name to be next to theirs does mean a lot. Um, because again, I respect the hell out of those two guys. So um, that definitely was a really good feeling. Uh, not only just winning the whole thing, but also having my name next to those two gentlemen uh, was definitely a huge honor, and it's it's forever. So you know that's that's huge for me. That that's that was really a really awesome feeling. You know, um, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, that was that was a great feeling for sure. Um, also, the way everyone just sort of brought Carlos in, my brother-in-law. Mr. Toast, um, the Montebello Morpico, <laughs> uh, the way everyone sort of just brought him in, accepted him and made him feel welcome. You know, he still talks to some people that he met through the EBL, I guess, kind of through me. Uh, he had kind of talked to some of them, but like the EBL really brought a lot of us, you know, closer, a lot, well, him and a lot of the people he met closer, right? And having conversations with them and all that good stuff. Um, so thank you guys as well um, in the EBL for making him feel welcome um i really do appreciate that a lot um again family means a lot to me so that that definitely was uh that was awesome of you guys to make him feel welcome and bring him into the league and make it smooth for him <laughs> um why am i struck see i told you this list of positives is gonna be so because it's just like these these positives ha have had such huge impacts on me um it's kind of hard to think of more you know what i mean it's like it it definitely was a challenge i i did for a while i did i did like the challenge i won't lie the challenge was definitely fun uh again it got to a point where it was a little too serious for me um it's not that i'm not a competitive person it's just when it comes to competitive something that was supposed to be fun and at the core of it was always fun and then it just kind of got turned into something that wasn't very fun um it lost that spark for me but it definitely the competition definitely was fun when when it was fun <laughs> if that makes sense um and yeah uh, also actually from a content creator point of view the league definitely made me better it made me better with logos and my design work uh how i edit how creative i can get on certain videos i definitely still have room for improvement but <laughs> how creative i can get on videos by editing all that good stuff it actually made me a pretty it made me a better content creator as well through the ebl brought me consistency and all that good stuff uh it definitely has helped with that 
um, my growth as a content creator, not just numbers wise, but just me and, and again, my, like my design work and all that good stuff. Uh, it definitely helped on that front as well. Um, I'd say that was also a huge positive. So, uh, but I think above everything else, the people, man, the, I, the people, I love you guys very much. Um, and I honestly, I do not regret joining the league, you know, even knowing how it ends. If I went back almost two years ago, <laughs> if I went back and saw, you know, in past Josh asked me like, oh, how does it end up? I would just tell him like, just enjoy the ride. You know, I wouldn't tell him like, oh, don't join. This is how it ends. No, I tell him like, join, enjoy the ride. Cause I don't regret it. I don't regret being a part of this league. It's definitely a huge part of me, uh, for these last couple years. And you know, because of the people and because of all that good stuff, um, I do not regret this joining the league at all. It, it, even though it, it's ending the way it's ending, I don't really care. Um, I still would join, would have joined the league a hundred times out of a hundred. So, uh, I do not regret joining the league. And again, a huge thank you to Matt and Derek. You guys were the main ones that obviously brought me in. Um, and yeah again i really hope this video doesn't make it seem like i'm trying to make my retirement more important i'm i, don't, I want to stress that this is just the best way for me in a therapeutic sense to get everything off my chest about this uh if i'm streaming and you guys have any extra questions i mean i guess go ahead and shoot but if i don't answer them then you know that's the, more than likely answer, it's answered in this video or um i just don't feel like answering it uh again i don't think it, I, I don't know if this is going to be forever um again though a lot of things kind of have to change with the league for me to come back um and i don't think they will so it's not really like a negative thing it's just a realistic thing um and i'm fine with it it's okay i'm, I'm fine with closing the the i was gonna say chapter of this book it's really the whole book <laughs> when you think about it, it's not really a chapter anymore this is the whole book but i'm willing to close the book on this for now at least um maybe we'll write a sequel later on god look at me getting all metaphorical and stuff <laughs> um but yeah book is closed um putting it off to the side maybe it'll collect dust and cobwebs before i ever pick it up again um and honestly i'm okay with that so yeah i hope you guys are okay with that too thank you guys so much by the way fans of the ellie inferno for supporting uh me through thick and thin through all of my stupid mistakes that i made <laughs> throughout my career uh within the ebl um yeah i know it's some stupid pokemon league but it definitely helped me a lot you know um and uh it was led to a lot of really good things like i said i, I 100 times out of 100 i would do it again um yeah i think that's just about everything love you guys love each and every one of you and i think that's it check out stuff on the channel we got stuff going on, on the channel that isn't ebl related we've had stuff going on trying to do some different things so keeping out for all that good stuff uh subscribe so you see more of that stuff if you're you know you like me you want to see more of me maybe you only watch the ebl videos uh you want to see more of me uh you can subscribe <laughs> so you can see more um and yeah thank you guys so much for supporting me uh during my time in the EBL and to everyone I met through the EBL or became closer with because of the EBL. Love you guys very much. Um, if I didn't name you, I mean, you guys know who you are. So, uh, thank you guys. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.